Today I am going to be showing you my first AC wireless follow focus rig that I built uh, that can also go handheld in just a second. So check it out. Okay, so this is the kit broken down into its various pieces. I'll just run through them really quickly. First, we have the monitor. This is my Ninja V uh, by Atomos. Next, um, I just bought this, the Teradek 4K LT750. And then the next thing I bought uh, just very recently is this, the Tilta Nucleus M uh, follow focus lens control system. Uh, it's great. The only thing that's not on here is the couple of motors that are on this camera back here, which I'll be using to demonstrate. Um, and then I have the actual like mount itself. These two pieces are the Tilta monitor mount. Now this monitor mount does not come standard um, on the Tilta Nucleus M. Uh, oh yeah, this back here too. This guy, this little uh, area rosette here, uh, does not come with the monitor mount either. So the two things come separately, both of which do not come standard on the on the uh, the M. So if you're gonna buy this, make sure you get both the monitor mount and the airy rosette uh, back bracket, whatever mount thing. And then this is a battery plate that I got from Small Rig. I've had this for a long time. Um, this is an L bracket with a little 15 mil uh, rod clamp on the back. The wooden handle by small rig and then this is the light stand mount for the teradek this came with the teradek so i'll be using all of these pieces oh yeah then power hdmi nemo all that stuff that stuff will get added in, in a second but we're going to go ahead and put this back together and then i'll kind of walk through why i'm putting things in certain places and what i'm trying to achieve by putting them in that specific place if that's over explained uh, sorry. Uh, okay, here we go. First thing we want to do, I like just putting the handle on. Battery plate. Oh yeah, one more thing. So I I have this this rod here. This is a cheese rod from Small Rig. This is not the rod that came with the uh, monitor mount. So if you want to do this again, this is something you're going to need to get uh, as separate. Then our monitor mount, which can kind of live kind of wherever right now. Okay, so that's kind of the bones of it. Pretty simple. We've got handle, monitor mount, cheese rod, battery plate, monitor mount and Teradek mount, and then the light stand mount. Next, oh, this <laughs> so I just bought this thing and I bought it used and I pulled it out and I started to play around with it. And I don't know if you can hear this. Something is absolutely loose and broken inside. The whole thing works fine. There's nothing wrong with it, aside from that little rattle. Something came off. I don't know. It's going back tomorrow. Literally, I'm putting it back in the box and sending it back, uh, and I'm going to get a new one. So if you see me on set, don't ask me about the rattling. <laughs> I already know that I want to try to get this thing kind of, kind of flat. It's going to sit kind of like that, so the monitor mount's kind of coming up. It's gonna give me some room back here underneath the, the battery plate. Um, it's kind of hard to see, I know, sorry. But it's gonna give me some room in there to be able to kind of cable manage and uh, get some stuff in there that, that doesn't really fit if it sits kind of flat. Anyway, next, Teradek. We'll just throw the Teradek on the back back here. I just realized that this is a little high. So the battery needs to come down slightly. So it's not hitting the Teradek. Okay, next is the monitor. Uh, the nice thing about this monitor is that it's a recorder as well. Um, so I can, in theory, do a backup roll on the focus pulling station, um, just in case. Uh, it's weird stuff happens all the time and cameras stop rolling, media fills up, whatever. So it's kind of a nice thing to have like a backup roll on this in case we need it. Um, of course, you want to ask uh, production or the DP or the director if it's cool if you do that because they don't know you have that media and then you walk off set with it and you've got all the raw media. They may not be thrilled with you. So make sure you let them know. Get that nice and tight. 
Okay, so that's kind of it. Oh yeah, battery. Duh. There it is, all built and put together, minus cables, obviously. Before I do the cables, I want to get it on the stand so that way I know if I need to move anything around, I can do it now before all those cables are in there. So, okay, so it's sitting pretty good right now. Well, that's actually sitting a little too flat. Now, change that, put that down. Like that. Yeah. Now, cable management. You don't really want to be just shoving all the cables into the back back here behind the monitor because you know, the monitor gets warm, the, the Teradex is going to get warm, you got the SSD on here, so you don't want to be t pulling this off and on and cables are all, you know, it's just, you don't want it to be a mess, really. We're going to start with uh, the DTAP to Limo. This is two pin Limo for the Teradex. Give it like a little loop and then go underneath. You don't want to be snaking these cables like all over the place just for the sake of cleanliness. You still need to be able to get to them. Um, if if a cable goes bad, if you're trying to diagnose a problem, you want to be able to get in here quick and figure out what that is and then replace the cable if need be. Um, so you don't want it to be a mess and you don't want it to be so clean that you can't take anything off. This is actually what I should have put on first, the DTAP splitter. Uh, this is a four DTAP splitter that we're going to be plugging this DTAP into the battery. So now this, this can kind of get placed underneath here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the light stand mount off for just a second. And we're going to get this in here sideways and go the other way like this. I'm flipping it the opposite direction because this cable needs to sit like this and the, with the cable going up. If I had it the other way around it, the cable would be going down like that and that would put strain on the cable and we don't want to do that. Next one is this. This is the DTAP to NP Sony battery, um, dummy battery for the monitor. I already know that this cable is way too long. It's like a three and a half foot, three foot cable. I don't need three feet, I need a foot. This is gonna be kind of a pain to get back here and sitting where it won't be in the way and not making a big mess. I have this Alvin's cable, little Velcro here that I'll use. So let's put this back here and then bring it forward and plug it in to the DTAP. The DTAP splitter uh, has double-sided tape on it. You could put Velcro or something back there, but double-sided tape worked for me. So, so now my DTAP is sitting right above the hand unit. That's good to be there because now I can get to it very quickly uh, without having to pull anything apart. We want to have as much airflow as we can through the middle here, uh, just to prevent any overheating or anything like that. Next is HDMI. This came with the Teradek. This is a great little cable actually. And now that is built, put together. These are a little bit, these cables are a little bit long. They're a little, it's a little too far out there, but I don't really want to pinch this cable. This is already, all right, that's all straight. And now we'll put the light, stand mount, mount back on. All right, there we go. All done. Let's boot it up. Okay, so now that we are on the stand and everything is booted up, back here I have the uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema ca Cinema Camera 6K um, with the two motors here and here uh, for the Nucleus. So uh, my focus works and we can also do zoom. Zoom is working great. So this is now part of my kit. So I'll show up with this every time I go on a job and that's offering a ton of value and is really important to a lot of productions. They want to know that the AC is, that is showing up knows their kit, uh, knows the ins and outs, can diagnose and solve problems really, really quickly. Because if I know how to disassemble this thing as, as quickly as I can and then put it all back together in a matter of a couple of minutes rather than maybe 10 or 15 minutes if these cables were all messed back here and it just took me a minute to get it undone uh that's a couple of minutes 
that we don't now have uh, rolling on the shot and getting through the schedule on the day. So being really efficient is really important. And I think with this system uh, and how it's built and how it's put together, um, we'll achieve that, uh, that goal. I'll list everything you see here in the description. Um, if you wanted to replicate this exact rig, you certainly don't have to. Um, if you don't like the Atomos monitor, change it out, use a small HD or something else. Uh, Teradek, you don't have to use that either. You could use a Hollyland or some other uh, wireless video system. Nucleus M, again, one of those preference things. You can use a WC4 uh, on there or a Preston or something else. And uh, of course the batteries, you can use the little cube ones or the big Antons, whatever you want really. Uh, I just happen to really like this monitor mount. That's kind of the, the bones of it. And that's what I thought kind of worked for me. Uh, this has been a blast to put together, uh, you know, buying some new gear and getting to play with it is always a ton of fun. And of course, being able to share it with you is, uh, is also a lot of fun. So again, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.